I got bands in a coop. Who am I on? Sagittarius? It's y'all season. <laughs> well, we getting ready to go into happy season. Let's see what's going on with my Sagittarius for December 19th through January the 5th. What's good, y'all? I hope everybody is doing well. Let's hop right into it. This is Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius. Okay? So if you have Sagittarius in your Moon and Rising, you can apply this video to you as well. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? In love. Let's see what's going on in love. All right, so we have let your friends help you. So ask for and accept support from others. All right, so some of you guys are going to your friends and getting advice from your friends or whatever the case may be. There's some possibly like some friends involved. Or spirit is saying, you know, ask for support. Have a support system. Oh, interesting. Sagittarius. <laughs> What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Please give me clarifiers for Sagittarius. All right, so past energy, guys. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. All right, so honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right? You got flirt for, pre for your present energy. And this is extend your lighthearted energy to others. And for your future energy, we have healing family issues. Okay, so your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But there's something that you want, something that you desire here. It's like you want to ask somebody if they want to have sex. I'm just calling it like I see it. Um, or there's a new, it's like accepting a new offer. That's what I'm seeing, guys. <laughs> You know that you need to have this conversation with this person. Your intuition, your intuition is telling you that you need to have this conversation with this person. Um, you can't be trying to hide something from them, but I feel like you know that you need to have this conversation. It will be beneficial if you have this conversation. There needs to be some changes here. The will is spinning and everything will go in your favor if you have this conversation. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, but there could just be lots of toxic energy floating around. Okay, I feel like there needs to be a, a, top, a topic of discussion about energy, an exchange of energy, um, because I feel like there could possibly be, um, there could be some toxic energy going on around here. You feel like this, you feel like things aren't going to change by having this conversation. It's like your intuition is like, if I, if I have this conversation, then, you know, what's going to change? Nothing's going to be different. I've had this conversation before. But I feel like luck is possibly going to be on your side this go-round. I feel like there definitely either was a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or it's getting a conversation that's getting ready to be had. With flirt, I feel like some of you guys have decided not to flirt. Some of you guys have decided to walk away from the situation and leave the situation alone. Like you don't even want to let them think that you're flirting with them. I feel like some of you guys had a conversation with somebody and you felt like there wasn't any changes. Nothing changed. So you're deciding like, okay, well, I'm not going to flirt with you anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. But going into the near future, I feel as if we're here with feeling, healing family issues. I feel like here with this fire energy, which is you guys' energy, um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but I feel like you're deciding not to go back and forth about the past. So I feel like there's going to be some type of healing, some type of, um, some type of turnaround here. It's like, you know, we don't need to go back and forth about the past. That was in the past. We're going to leave that there. But right now, I feel like you're deciding that you're not going to flirt with them for a little while. You're not going to give them the attention that you that you feel like they want. You're not going to give it to them right now. 
It's like you're, you're spanking them for not deciding that, you know, that they weren't going to change <laughs> or do things your way. All right. So I want to get a little bit more tea. Let's see what's going on. Please give me some more messages for Sagittarius. All right, bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Hermit card. All right, so this is feeling alone or this is isolating yourself. So some of you guys are deciding to isolate yourself from the situation. There could be a Virgo involved. Yeah, some of you guys are abandoning are trying to abandon this situation here. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved in this situation. Because you're defending yourself. You're going to continue to stand your ground. <laughs> you guys are very defensive. Y'all are very, very defensive. Like, you're not letting up right now. It's like, I'm going to teach you is what, what is what I'm getting. And there's just a lot of things that I feel like you want to drop this load. You want, but I also feel like you want them to take some type of responsibility um, in the situation as well. Like, you're stressing out about this partnership. This partnership is stressing you out. So it makes you feel really, really guarded, right? You guys are very guarded. Like, I feel like there's going to be a second chance here. But I feel like there's still some issues, um, some competitiveness, possibly, I'm sensing. But I do feel like this situation is going to, um, there's going to be like a, a reviewing of this situation, an awakening, a realization of this situation. Um but I feel like there's still some issues and I feel like these issues are possibly like competitiveness. Someone is like very competitive here. Why is the five of wands here? It's like a sense of rejection. It's like, I'm sensing I'm really, really getting competition. And there possibly is some financial issues that needs to be um, balanced out as well. So I feel like there could possibly be a period of reviewing what is most important. What, you know, what do you need to be focusing on right now? Some of you guys are going to be deciding to stay single until you resolve your issues. And it could possibly be like your finances that you're trying to balance out and get, you know, get together. Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah, some of you guys are... Trying to save, trying to save your money too. So this could this could be some part of the issue to where you know you possibly aren't really focused on love right now. You probably you're probably mostly focused on getting your um, getting your money together. You know, on the holidays, it does always put a dent in in everyone's pocket. So. Some of you guys are trying to get your money back together, save your money. There could be something that you're trying to accomplish. And, you know, you just, you know, you're just trying to stay focused because you feel like this relationship is possibly worrying you or stressing you out. So there's going to be a period of where you're reviewing to see what matters most um, and trying to, you know, get over whatever issues or whatever um, problems that you're having. And I feel like these are personal problems is what I'm feeling that you're trying to fix or trying to balance out. That's what I'm getting. I want to do a past, present, and future for you guys. Please give me a past, present, and future energy for Sagittarius. The chariot card. All right. So this is progression. This is forward movement. And this is also the card of cancer. All right. 
So ooh, I'm sensing like some of you guys are possibly married here. Um, maybe there is a cheating spouse. Um, we got the 10 of swords, the justice card, the seven of swords. So this is definitely like divorce and or separation. And it's possibly because there is some lying or some a cheating partner here. Some of you guys in the past were having lots of fun. There was lots of passion. Um, there was just lots of, lots of things going on here. Someone was, you were having lots of fun here. You was having a blast is what I'm saying. Yeah, you're having fun. Some of you guys are like living, was living your best life in the past, right? And then I feel like, for some of you guys, I'm sensing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. I feel like you're hoping that someone invites you over or gives you a call or texts you. Because um, someone possibly has been being very guarded and like defensive. And I feel like you're hoping that they reach out to you or talk to you in some way, shape or form, or you're able to communicate with them. And I do feel like closing out a chapter, being patient um, while this chapter closes out and plotting and planning on your next moves, um, gaining the clarity that you need. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be dropping whatever burden this is. I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of things that need to be discussed or talked about, but this chapter is coming to a close so a new chapter can begin. Or basically, with hit with this world card and the seven of pentacles, this is telling me that the this is telling me that the plants, the seeds that you planted, have completely successfully harvested. Um, and I feel like that's why I feel like a burden is going to be dropped. You know, you're going to be feeling less stressed or feeling less worrisome because this chapter is coming to a close, and I feel like there is going to be a new start here. I feel like there's going to be a fresh new beginning here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Whatever this is, is was really worrying you. And I feel like that chapter is coming to a close. You guys were definitely living a good, happy life. You guys are having some fun. I'm sensing like some wildness, some free energy. I feel like you guys are having a blast. And you're hoping to communicate with someone. Maybe someone is being defensive in their communication or they're not doing things the way you want them to do it. And you're hoping to, you know, talk, talk the situation out. But I do feel like, you know, the confusion is, is the cycle is coming to a close and the new chapter is beginning. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. All right. If you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress. I'll leave information in the drop box below. Okay. I want to thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and comment. Don't forget to click the bell if you're new to the channel. Okay. All right, guys. See you next time. Ciao for now.